Welcome back to AIM News. My name's Jake, and this week's main story focuses on a very proud mother named Kim. She tells us a story about her son in year 12. He's a mentee, and he's recently been winning awards for photography. But first, a story about this guy. A friendly fellow featured on the Australian $50 note. His name's David Unipon, and he lived in a time from 1872 to 1967, and he went down in history as an indigenous Australian genius. An inventor. One of his best known inventions is a modified design for shearing shears. He changed the one circular blade to a straight one. And the design was so good that it's still used today. And in a time where aeroplanes were evolving, David stated that instead of a plane needing a long runway to take off, he said that some type of aeroplane could be manufactured that could rise straight into the air from the ground by an application of the boomerang principle. David explained that the boomerang is shaped to rise in the air according to the velocity with which it is propelled. David envisioned vertical takeoff by combining vehicles with the boomerang principle. Vehicle plus boomerang principle equals vertical takeoff. David pretty much predicted the invention of helicopters. Pretty cool, hey? Because of David's effort and contribution to the Australian society, it's commemorated by being displayed on our Australian $50 bill. David Unipon was described as Australia's very own Leonardo da Vinci. I remember when I was in school, I first learned about Leonardo. He had a friend called Donatello, Raphael, Michelangelo, they ate pizza, they were Ninja Turtles. Ooh, Ninja Turtles! <laughs> Just in case you missed it, AIM's Got Game campaign recently closed with over 65,000 votes from all around the country. We'll keep you up to date with the mentees as they travel into their final performance over the next few weeks. Also, the New York Marathon was held earlier this month and 10 Indigenous Australians competed as part of the Indigenous Marathon Project. It's a healthy education initiative. And that's pretty inspiring. It's a 42 kilometre run and some of the participants couldn't even run 100 metres nine months ago. So that's an excellent effort, very well done and your role models within your community. Speaking of rolling and being a role model, the Tour de Country is back on the road. It's the ride to support reconciliation, health and education. All good causes. This year, the Tour de Country started in Albury. And right now, as this AIM News episode goes out, they're traveling up through the snowy mountains on their way to Bega. Once they get to Bega, they'll then travel north and conclude at Wollongong. If you see the Tour de Country bunch out on the road, stop, say g'day. And if you want to get involved, head to this link, facebook.com forward slash tour to country and to jobs aim job applications close soon so if you're interested in working with mentoring log on to jobs at aimmentoring.com and submit your application there's some special jobs up for grabs as well recently you would have heard that aim won five hundred thousand dollars from the google impact challenge to develop an online game that will light the spark for indigenous kids to succeed in maths and science Hey, if anybody knows game developers out there, specifically the crew at ABC's Good Game, whether it's Barjo, Hex, Goose, Dave, you know, let them know, we can see where this goes. By the way, I love the Good Game show, keep it up, well done. And AIM is having a dig at a Guinness World Record for the largest swimwear parade in the middle of Sydney, December 5, Martin Place. If you can make it, it'd be great. Sure, a Guinness World Record is up for grabs, but this event primarily doubles as a fundraiser and it helps to support mentoring. This event has been held over the last five years and this will be the last Strut the Streets event ever. It's your last chance to strut the streets and prove that you'll go to any length to see the day where Indigenous kids finish high school at the same rate as every Aussie child. There are two ways you can be involved and both involve our friend on the $50 bill, David Unipon. You can spend this $50 note on a ticket which buys you entry to the event and also includes a pair of swimmers and you get to choose your own colours too. Or if strutting around in Sydney in your budgie smugglers is not your thing, that's totally okay. You can use the same note to go online and sponsor a strutter. And any donation you make over $2 is tax deductible. So if you want to sponsor somebody but don't know anybody, you can sponsor me and the AIM News team will be there by going to this link. One of the main reasons everybody wears swimmers is because the event concludes at a rooftop pool party. So bring your floaties and to social media. Your favourite post 
this fortnight by far related to a two minute video about an idea from the streets of South Africa. Over 2,000 people liked this post and over 14,000 people shared this post. Personally, it was great to witness so many positive comments in the section below this video. If you haven't seen this video, I strongly recommend going back to the Facebook page and looking for it and then watching it. You know, it was so inspirational. People were talking about how they can implement positive change within their own community right here. And that's very inspiring to see. I love that stuff. And now to the main story. We check in with a proud mother named Kim and she shares the story about a son who was in year 12 a mentee named Harley who has recently been winning awards for photography. Uh, it started off as a hobby two years ago, uh, then he chose it as an elective so we decided to get a camera for him for Christmas and he hasn't looked back. He's um, just grown so much and it's just a natural talent, it's beautiful to see. Well Harley went to Melbourne for a national art award, he was one of 23 finalists. I'm very proud of him. It was um, mainly offered to people that were university graduates and people that were recognised in the art world. Uh, we recently went to an orientation day for university for Harley. Uh, he's applied for photography or visual arts. Very proud, very proud. I'll really embarrass him and say what I always say to him, I'm really proud of you, my boy. <laughs> I couldn't be more proud. Pretty cool, hey? If you want to see more of Harley's photos, you can head to this link and check them out. A ton of mentees all around the country are graduating year 12 and getting on to the next step. Yeah, thanks to all the mentees for stepping up to that challenge and the mentors for working with each other and supporting everybody within the community. Alright, hope everybody's having fun and let's keep these positive stories flowing.